What's up guys, Leopold the Brave here for another episode commentary on fictional fights. This episode is Kazuya vs. Pit, and it went way better than I thought it would. Because, <clears throat> I'm a pretty big Tekken fan, so most of my audience is also Tekken fans. So I figured they'd be pretty mad that another Tekken character loses. This is like the second one in a row. First one being Hihachi. <laughs> so Tekken's one win, two losses now in fictional fights. And I figured people would not be happy. But this actually has one of the best ratings of any fictional fights episode ever. So that's pretty interesting. Now the reason I came up with this matchup is because I wanted an opponent for Pit, but I really couldn't think of any anyone. I mean, someone was suggesting Dante, but that's a stomp in Dante's favor. So that's about it. I wanted to find an opponent for Pit though, and I couldn't think of anyone really around his level, except for Kazuya, and they do have stuff in common. I mean, they both have armies, they both have f wings. I don't know, they're polar opposites, pretty much. Kazuya fights with his fists, and he's evil. Pit's good, and he fights with a bunch of weapons and stuff. And they both have armies, but Pit's army always wins, while Kazuya's army loses horribly. <laughs> But there's not a lot I have to talk about when it comes to this episode. It was just an, it was pretty much just another episode the way it went down. Like I set the script out, I got the lines, I edited everything together, I got the animation from Rampage Animations, who did a good job by the way, and just put them all together and you have an episode. So there wasn't really anything bizarre that happened this time, except it did feel like a really, really long time. Like Akuma vs Ganondorf came out. And then it felt like forever before this one came out for some reason, even though it was only three weeks like the regular schedule. It's because I had a lot going on. Like, the week Ganondorf and Akuma came out, I was on vacation. And then the week I got back from vacation, which is the week after Ganondorf vs. Akuma, I had gotten my wisdom teeth out, so I was recovering from that. And then the week after that was a completely normal week. And then, finally, Pit vs. Kazuya came out. It was still the same time between episodes as it's always been, but it still felt like it took forever. So yeah, that was a little odd how it felt like it took ages. And now Scout vs. Tracer is coming up next, and it already feels like it's coming in a few days, even though it's not. I'm already like, ugh, I gotta get stuff done, even though I already have all the footage ready. Uh, I haven't recorded any of my lines yet, I'll be doing that later. And sadly, I do not think I'll have an animation for that because Source Filmmaker is hard and you can't make an animation like that in like a couple months or three weeks. It takes a very long time to make stuff at Source Filmmaker. I mean, I don't use Source Filmmaker myself because I'm too clueless to learn how to use it. But I'd imagine it'd be a pretty time-consuming process to animate with that program. I mean, I even have it on my computer and I don't touch it because my computer is not fast enough to run it. I probably would take the time to learn it if my computer was fast enough, but it's not. It's super laggy and annoying, and trying to animate with that thing would drive me nuts. And the rendering time would probably take ages. Like I make a two minute movie, and it would take seven days to render, probably. <laughs> mm. So Pitt was pretty much outclassed in all stats, and the only thing he had to aid him was his arsenal skill and experience in the end. So I was like, okay, now what could make this matchup not seem like a stomp? But then I realized that the Devil Gene is actually weak to light divine stuff. It's not directly stated in the series, but from observation, you can see it happening a lot. Like, the Devil Gene always loses to the light whenever you see them fighting on screen. The only time I think the Devil Gene's ever won was in Tekken 2, when Kazuya had Angel and Devil fighting over him, and then Devil ended up winning over Angel. Because Kazuya's lame and can't fight off evil at all. <laughs> he just gives into it like a little wiener. So... Yeah, the Devil Gene has a weakness to divine stuff. That would come into play in Jin vs. Sasuke, but Sasuke doesn't have anything to find. So, I don't think Jin has anything to worry about there. I'm still making my way through Shippuden. Like, 
I, I like Naruto. Naruto is one of my favorite animes of all time. But I had only watched Naruto. I haven't watched Shippuden yet because I couldn't find a, anywhere to watch it. But then I was like, oh, it's probably on Hulu, like the first series, and it was. So I'm making my way through Shippuden still, and I'm loving it, as always. Sasuke's so cool. I, I love the original Naruto, and Sasuke was what made me like it. He's such a cool character. I know people think it's dumb how he was like, I'm evil now, and then he suddenly switched back to good at the end or something. Yes, the end was spoiled for me. I know. Like a lot of other things that get spoiled for me. <laughs> Death battle. That's right, guys. Don't spoil Shadow vs. Mewtwo for me, please. I want to react to it properly. But anyways. Yeah, Sasuke's what made me love Naruto. I just find his character really cool. I like his powers. I like his backstory. I like his motives. Well, not really his motives, because revenge is bad, but... I like his determination. The kid has guts. And heart. He will do anything to get that revenge. Even selling his own soul. I wouldn't do that because I like my soul. My soul is nice. Uh, his soul belongs to Jesus. So I'm not selling it to no one. The apple didn't fall far from the tree. I don't get that saying. Like, I get it means, like... The son is similar to the father, and that since the apple didn't fall far from the tree. But what does that have to do with apples falling off of trees? Because, I mean, if the apple falls off the tree, the apple was still on that apple tree. It's not like it's something completely different if it falls farther away from the tree than whether it falls closer. No matter the distance it falls, it's, it's still was a part of the apple tree. It's an apple. You can't change that. So, the apple didn't fall far from the tree. Doesn't really make sense to me. What happened to the episode commentary? I'm just rambling now about random stuff. Like I said, there's there wasn't really much to talk about in terms of this episode. It was a pretty standard episode in terms of the production. It just felt like it took longer because of how busy I was while making it. That probably might have explained why this episode was shorter. Like, the, it had an animation with it, and it was still only 12 minutes long. <clears throat> so, I've made this whole big deal about Kazuya being a human, and how humans survive crazy things if they're in fiction, like Saitama and Krillin. I decided to make a big deal out of that because I actually have seen people who go, well, Kazuya is, or this character, so and so, is just a human. They can't fight Goku. Wah. But. Humans of fiction have done some pretty crazy things before. Anyways, that's all I pretty much have to say about that. <clears throat> See you guys later in the next episode commentary for Scout vs. Tracer after that episode comes out. Whoop-de-doo!